immigration benefits to uh, U.S. military service members. Uh, the, so we're going to give a general overview here, and then if you have any specific questions, uh, feel free to, to call us or, or, or reach us, be in contact with us about this particular topic. But uh, if you are in the military, you have been in the military, uh, especially in active duty, you might be entitled to some uh, benefits under immigration law. And so some of these benefits include things like uh, waiving the processing fees, um, so, so you won't have to pay for certain types of, uh, uh, for example, green card or citizenship uh, uh, applications. Uh, in addition to that, sometimes you might have reduction in the time frame, or uh, at the very least, uh, you might have you, you might not need to prove that you were within the United States. For example, if you were deployed overseas, that period of time uh, is taken into account as if you were in the United States because technically you are be you are you are deployed outside on behalf of the United States. And so uh, there are in addition to that, there you have benefits like uh, you know if you need to sponsor someone. Uh, uh, for, for most people that, that need to sponsor an immediate relative uh, for adjustment of status, they need to make at least 125% of the HHA poverty guidelines, which are uh, guidelines that get uh, changed and published every year. For military members, that amount is 100%. You don't need to make 125%. And so there are some nuances here which military members could, could really benefit from. Uh, Give us a call, or if, you know, feel free to leave us a comment uh, and see. You know, maybe maybe we can help you with with what you need. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching.